Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On, and today we're going to be testing out the Densus X1 exoskeleton robot legs. It's hard to believe, but the whole kit fits in this very compact container. Now, it is a tight squeeze, and honestly, it's a bit of a challenge to get it all back in there, but it does fit. So, let's open this up and get started. These are the legs themselves, all folded up nice and compact, and I'll show you how to put those on in a sec. And the only other thing that we need from here is the battery. All right, let's put them on. So to put on the robot legs can be a little tricky at first, and it's really important to get it done right, to adjust it nice and snugly at the right spots so that it's not moving around and is comfortable. All right, so th there's basically two pieces. There's a part that goes around your waist, and then there's these bits that go around your thighs. So step one, put the waist part on. And these, this goes on just like any other robot legs that you've been wearing any time in your life. There's a Velcro part that attaches underneath there and then you can pull it snug and tighten it there. This Velcro strap, they provide two separate lengths, a short one and a long one, so that you can get that adjusted properly for your waist. You can also adjust it at the back with this button here and it allows this part to adjust quite a bit too. So between those adjustments you can get your waist snug but not too tight. On your leg parts, they go around your upper legs. There's again a, an elasticized part here and it's Velcro and you can adjust it at this level. They actually provide two of these as well, a short one and a long one. And so pick the one that makes the most sense for your fit. So it goes around your upper leg like that. You can pull on this little tab, makes it easier. And then on the side, there's a little adjustment wheel that allows you to tighten it up a little bit more. Repeat on the other side. And you got it on. There we go. All right, so turning it on. Now this, this is where it's, I, I think they could do better. So on the back, this piece here is called the ECU, which is the electronic control unit. On the side of that, there's a button. A long press turns it on, you're gonna hear a tone, and then a double tap puts it into what they call working mode. Uh, why they didn't put that button over here on the, on the battery compartment area, which by the way, you have to connect up, um, I don't know, but there you go, that's where it is. So right now I'm in what's called transparent mode, which means it's powered up, but not actually providing any assistance. To do the assistance, there's up buttons on the right-hand side and down buttons on the left-hand side, and they have plus and a minus. And there's four little LEDs just below that, the, the, uh, those buttons. So <laughs> this is also a little weird, but you know, once you get used to it, it's absolutely fine. There's three levels of assistance and there's also two levels of resistance. So for me, I, I prefer the assistant mode. So you do that on this side, the first press puts it into what they call eco mode, which is the most battery friendly and the least a bit of assistance. When you do that, those four LEDs, two of them light up in light blue. When you push it again, you go into what they call sport mode. And those two LEDs become a little brighter and you get a little bit more boost. And then when you push it one more time, those two LEDs turn orange. Why they don't have three LEDs for levels one, two, and three, I don't know, but that's what you get. Level one is eco, level two is sport, and level three is boost. Boost gives you the most assistance. Now, on the other side, when you take it down two notches, ugh, getting bugs out here. So now I'm on, okay, now I'm down to zero again, or transparent mode. So on this side, uh, if you go down a level more, you get into what they call aqua mode. 
And Aquamode is sort of like Aqua Fitness. That's why they named it Aquamode. And it provides res resistance to your movement as opposed to ass assistance. So they have two levels. One, which gives a little bit of resistance. And two, which gives you even more <laughs> resistance. Let's try these out. Okay, so now we're going to try running up these stairs. Let's go. So nothing dramatic, but uh, yeah, there's definitely a boost. For a simple jog along the road, and, and to be clear, I am not a runner by any stretch, but for a simple jog like this, even up, you know, a, a moderate slope, they actually helped. They, they were, you know, assisting my motion and making it fairly easy to jog along. So Joy and I are going to go on a hike this time to test out these Densys X1 robot legs. I'm wearing them right now and they're active and I can feel them slightly twitching, which is a very weird feeling. And uh, yeah, so maybe this time I can keep up with Joy. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Another hill. Lots of ups and downs. And it was a beautiful day for a hike. So robot leg testing or not, we took the time to relax and stop and enjoy the view. And it was gorgeous. So we've finished the hike. Um, we paused a couple of times along the way. It was about two and a half hours of duration, but probably only an hour and a half of actual hiking when you say something mm -hmm. like that yeah so 5.8 kilometers and elevation gain of 144 meters so lots of up and down and lots of pretty rugged terrain not anything crazy by any stretch but uh, lots of fun i mean this is yeah. a great hike uh, so it was a good test of the of the robot legs or exoskeleton um, frankly i found that they didn't really help a lot so you didn't find they helped you with your endurance at all? I, I don't think so. But that said, they the battery conked out right at the very end, like probably 100 meters from the end. So they, they didn't last terribly long, I guess, yeah. say, two hours of, of runtime, because I didn't turn them off ever. Um, so I got about two hours of runtime in them. And I'll tell you, when they did stop, I noticed it right away. Oh, did you? Yeah. It was like, oh, wait. So then they did so help you somewhat. They They must have been helping then in a in a good way, like a, yeah. in an unconscious way. So, so that's a good thing. So, I think you were more frustrated with them coming down on you. Yes. Yeah, that yes. they weren't as comfortable yeah. as you thought they would. Yeah, and the black flies don't help here. <laughs> <laughs> so what I found is that it was they were drooping, if you like. I mean, I had them cinched up pretty tight. Yeah, because you kept stopping and, and pulling them pulling up. Pulling them like up. You were pulling up your pants. So we finished the hike, um, but we're going to do a little bit more hike without the exoskeleton. So the exoskeleton batteries got down to 19%. And at that point, the sport mode, which is what I was in, no longer is, is available. You have to have more battery power than that to enable that. So I'm going to try walking without. I still got the backpack on with all the gear that I've, I've carried in there. So pretty much the same weight, except the exoskeleton. We'll see how it goes. So I haven't gone very far, but I'll tell you right now, I can tell that I'm not wearing them in two senses. Sense one is that I'm not getting the boost and the, and the boost is actually helpful. No question about it. So I'm, I'm missing that in even walking up a mild slope. But at the same time, I, what I'm not missing is the drag on my hips. And that was, that was kind of driving me crazy on the, uh, the full hike. Here's Colin. He's uh, had him on for maybe two minutes now, and you're on on boost mode. What do, What are your thoughts? My thoughts are they kind of feel like a stilt. I've used stilts for um, drywalling, for example, two foot high, and it kind of feels like that. I've never actually worn anything like this, so I can't be much of a judge to compare. But it's definitely. Helping? You're doing giant steps. Yeah, like it's. So you're going up a steep hill here. What, what do you? I kind of feel like you wouldn't get tight. Your legs won't get as tired, but your back and your butt muscles might get more tired. Yeah. 
but it's definitely helping my calves and like my boots kind of feel weightless, if you will. Oh, really? Interesting. Definitely, it's a feel. It's a hard to describe. Very hard to describe. Yeah. Anna taking her first steps, her first robot <laughs> steps. Oh, that's weird. It does kind of feel like going. interesting and it moves your arms too <laughs> cool. interesting. what do you think I feel like when it's too high it almost feels like it's hurting your hips a little bit oh is that right that's yeah. what Colin said yeah. too yeah so what are your first impressions having walked a little bit it's interesting to walk in it I yeah know about running different. I think you'd have to get used to it. Yeah. So yeah, the Densus X1 exoskeleton. What a cool piece of kit. I mean, look at that thing. What a neat design. Yeah. So a, a lot of fun. Definitely gives you a boost in terms of speed and endurance and that sort of thing. A lot of fun. Um, I, I tried it walking, hiking, running. Now, admittedly, I did have some troubles when I was hiking. I found that they were kind of pulling down on me. But you know what? Since then, I haven't really had that issue. I think the problem is I didn't have them quite properly adjusted. You need to make sure that your waist adjustment in particular is, uh, is pretty tight and in the right spot on your, on your waist. And by the way, there is a video on the, uh, on the app that shows you how to properly adjust it. So, so yeah, um, check that out for sure totally unique experience. I mean, very, very cool. And uh, it, it run, they run around um, uh, a little over a kilogram in terms of weight, so not that heavy. I mean, yeah, you can feel them around your weight, your waist, but uh, uh, not that wildly heavy. Amazing that they could put two motors in there and all these controls and the battery and still keep it at a reasonable weight. Uh, I think they could do better with the controls. This business about turning them on at the back uh, and and the LED lights with the, I mean you've got you got three levels up and two levels of resistance. I think they could make it easier to to understand what level you're on when you're uh, uh, controlling them just on the belt. Yeah, by the way, you do see all the details on the app if you want to look at uh, look at it that way. So yeah, a lot of fun. Definitely, they definitely work. They are definitely cool. There's a link down in the description below. You may want to check those out. They run around $800 US. Um, so you want to, want to check that out. There's different models. You can buy accessories such as uh, an extra battery pack, which might not be a bad idea if you're doing longer hikes in particular. But uh, yeah, totally fun. Check it out. The Densus X1 Exoskeleton.